part of the national life and consciousness of almost every country in the world. It's become more than just a game. Besides being an enormous money spinner and money eater, it's a moral code, a unifying force and a divider, an international language and a universal passion. Imagine breaking a World Cup record by scoring five goals in one, even being the biggest shock of the match. And it is now 5-1 and Salenko has written himself into World Cup history. Football is played worldwide by more than 1.5 million teams and 300,000 clubs. There are over 5 million officials involved in the game, some 220 million men and 20 million women played. The game we play and watch today was essentially devised by a group of Victorian Oxbridge graduates and laid down in the form of a book, this book in 1863. They called themselves the Football Association and this is their first book of rules, or as they said, laws. There are only 13 of them. Very simplicity and brevity not only created the most popular game in the world, it transformed the world itself. We got any leeches for this. Although there are various accounts of games involving the kicking of inflated bladders throughout antiquity, the English were the first to turn it into a national passion. This is what the game was like in 1583. It may rather be called a friendly kind of fight than a play or recreation, a murdering practice than a fellowly sport. Wasn't that offside? What's offside? I don't know. Sometimes necks are broken, sometimes backs, sometimes arms and sometimes legs. Sometimes one part is thrust out of joint, sometimes another. Sometimes the noses gush with blood. Sometimes their eyes start out, and sometimes hurt in one place, sometimes in another. The Elizabethan game probably had no rules at all, and was as likely to be played as a match between two towns with teams of hundreds as by 20 or so in a meadow. The only object was to get the ball or the bladder into the enemy's goal. Who's the lion on the road? settling on a comprehensively accepted set of rules, a group of representatives from a few of the public schools and early clubs met at Lincoln's Inn. Their purpose was to codify rules for the regulation of football. It was 1863. It's 1912, and what you are seeing is the very first Football World Championship final caught on film. Conventional wisdom has it that England have been world champions just the once, in 1966. But within this unique footage lies the secret of two world championship titles long forgotten. When England beat Denmark in the final of the 1912 Stockholm Olympic football tournament, the world championship was theirs for a second time. In these pre-World Cup days when the Olympic football tournament was the world's premier competition, England were the original masters, the inventors and the most influential nation in the evolution of the game.
You know it's serious, we're getting closer, this isn't over The pressure's off, you feel it But you got it all, believe it When you fold it up, oh, oh And if you fold it up, eh, eh Tamina, mina, sangalewa Cause this is Africa Tamina, mina, eh, eh Waka, waka, eh, eh Tamina, mina, sangalewa This time for Africa This competition takes place every four years and involves all the countries in the world that have got through all the preliminary stages. And the central symbol of this competition is the trophy. Der Deutsch-Rap-Hooligan Plattenbau aus Der Deutsch-Rap-Hooligan Schaufeller Der 